Today's math strategy video is adding using place value and regrouping. So we're going to use some place value blocks as well as regroup either tens, hundreds, ones. We just have to see what our problem says. So here's our problem. Garcia has 130 trading cards. Mark has 280 trading cards. How many trading cards do Garcia and Mark have together? So my problem says Garcia has 130 trading cards. Mark has 280. And I want to see how many they have together. So I am going to combine these. So I'm going to use this place value blocks to show each of their blocks. Here are Garcia's 100, there's 120, 130, and Mark's 280. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So the purple shows Garcia's 130, and the blue shows Mark's 280. And I want to see how many they have all together. When I click that button, it organizes, puts all of my hundreds together, all of my tens together, but I don't have any ones, so there's no ones that they put together. So I see 300, and then I see one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven groups of ten, eleven tens. Okay, so I know that if I put these tens together, that I can make another set of 100. So, looking at this, I can still see right here in the, in the purple, Garcia's 130, and in the blue, Mark's 280, which gives me the sum of 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, okay? So 130 plus 280 equals 410. Another way we can do this is by doing the partial sums, where when we stack our numbers up, we have no ones in both numbers, so zero plus zero is zero. Three tens plus, let me get my pen, Three tens plus eight tens gives me 11 tens. We saw that back there, which 11 tens is the same thing as 110. Then 100 plus 200 is 300. When we add all of those up, we get our sum of 410. We can also do the standard algorithm, and we know that three tens plus eight tens is 11 tens, or 110 and 1100. So I'm going to put my 100 up here for my 11 tens. 1, 2, and 2 plus 2 is 4. So that's just a few other ways that you can add when you're regrouping. Using the place value blocks, using your hundreds, tens, and ones chart, using partial sums, whichever way works the best for you 